Dawson Blast development over the last couple of years? That's my guy, man. Blaskett's another hard worker as well. Blaskett's gotten a lot better. He play anything, guard, center, tackle, whatever you need him to do. So I think Blaskett's going to be a key player for us. How is the, you think, the complexion of the D-line going to be different this year? Not the, not the how good they are, I mean, but just are they going to be different without, are they going to be smaller but quicker, or are they going to be just as big, or what do you think? You know, I think I'll leave that for them to answer. I think they'll, I think they'll answer that for themselves. Uh, this is a very different but unique group. In my opinion, there's not too big of a drop off, to be honest. Um, those guys go all hard and compete, and they're just as talented, in my opinion. So I'll let those guys write their own story. Cedric, what do you just think of how you guys on the offensive line, specifically your uh, line today, just how you guys are? If I had to give us a grade, Probably a B minus. I mean, this is a spring game. We probably got about, I don't know, maybe 50 reps of fast protection. A lot of reps. Um, and, you know, so you're bound to, you know, lose a rep here and there. But overall, I feel like we were really solid today. Um, I think we did a, a, a moderate job of containing 88, which is which is uh, a lot harder to, <laughs> harder to uh, do than say. So um, I think we did a pretty decent job today. I'll probably give us a B minus. What have you seen from Xavier Trust just through this spring? Maturity. I think he's grown a lot. Um, I think last year, Trust was um, figuring out his way and what was his role. And I think this year, stepping up as a leader, a really good leader for us. So I I'm really excited to see, you know, Trust keep growing and just continue to keep striving you know, in this team. What about uh, Devin Miller? Oh, absolutely. I think Devin, Devin hasn't grown as much as far as his, um, his leadership skills, but as far as his technique, throwing his hands, being able to control his body, so much better. So, so, so much better. Have you seen the national championship ring up close? Oh uh, yeah, actually. So I was going to see my family after the game, and uh, Jenny stopped me, gave me a hug, and showed me the ring. So that was cool. What did it? I mean, what was your impressions of what it looked like? It was amazing. I, honestly, I can't wait to hold my own. I want to ask you about a young guy, Ernest Green. What have you seen through the spring? From Very twitchy feet. Um, it's not perfect, but he definitely doesn't play like a media, for sure. Um, Really good feet, really good with his hands. Honestly, understands football, so that's a good thing. So I think he's going to continue to keep growing and one day be a superstar for this team. How about Brock uh, Vandegrift? You know, you worked with him, at, I guess, a little bit yeah. today. What kind of uh, spring do you think he's had? I think Brock has had a really good spring. Um, I think Brock has grown the most in being able to see him with certain blitzes and, you know, different things are coming. And I think he's done a really good job in getting us in the right protections and things like that. So I'm uh, honestly really pleased with the way Brock has progressed. I think it's honestly really hard because I know for me, you know, coming in, in the summer, um, honestly, I probably didn't start understanding football to that level probably until maybe fall camp. You know, it takes a while, and you know, obviously, I didn't get those reps with pads on, but just this level of understanding is amazing. So I'm honestly uh, really pleased with him and. I think that goes to a testament to you know what his high school coaches already taught him, and you know Coach Searles building on top of that. So you went against Jordan and Trayvon and Devontae those guys practice last year. Now with Zier and uh, Zelo and Jalen. Yeah, those guys, Jalen and, and uh, Warren Brits and those guys. Like, how do you yeah. evaluate what they bring to the table compared to what those guys? Are? I think all of them are uh, individually unique. I feel like. Jalen is more, honestly, you, you never know what you're going to get with Jalen. You never know you're going to get power, speed, try to humble. move. Honestly, I, you never know. Um, Zelo, I never really know with him what he's going to be speed or power. Nas is usually power, but he has a twitch to him that they catch you off guard. Um, and Warren Brinson is usually really fast. So um, I think all of them are very unique, um, very much different from last year, where those guys have very defined roles. But I feel like this group, they're really coming on strong. I know they've gotten us a lot better as an offensive unit. So um, honestly, I'm really pleased with their progression, and you know, I'm happy for them. Honestly. Warren's pretty good. Warren's pretty good. Yeah. Warren's pretty good. Yeah. Warren's pretty good. Yeah. Warren's pretty good. Yeah